airspace alerts. FlyQ has always had the ability to warn you when you're entering an area that has high terrain or where there's an obstacle. Now we also warn you when you're about to enter or even come close to controlled airspace such as MOAs, prohibited, restricted, class B, class C, danger, alert, and so on. Again, and I want to stress this, you don't have to actually be intercepting it. If you're close to it, we're going to warn you about that. The alerts are in both pop-up text and with audible warnings. Approaching a MOA. Once the alert is on the screen, you can tap on the X to close it down, like that. Or you can also, if you'd prefer not to see either the text or the audible pop-up, you can go into settings and configure the alerts however you like them to be. In terms of airspace alerts, keep in mind that the system uses a color-coded system on the pop-up as well. The pop-ups appear regardless of which type of map you use. For example, I'm going to display a split-screen mode now. And now you can see that the highlight is on both the sectional on one side of the screen and also on the digital chart on the other side of the screen. This is particularly important when you're using a map that, for example, the road map, that may not include any aviation data at all. A reminder, the FlyQ has two other types of warnings as well. For example, one of them has to do with terrain avoidance. If you tap on the layers pop-up and select TAWS, the terrain becomes colored. The red means that the terrain elevation is above your current altitude. The yellow means danger, that you're within a thousand feet of it. Also, you can turn on obstacle avoidance where you see obstacles on the screen. And now you also see that there's a pop-up on the screen that says at the top left, alert, obstacle ahead. You also, if we zoom in a little bit here, you see, I'm going to turn off the TAWS for a moment. You see that there's a red cone. The red cone in front of the aircraft is telling us that the obstacle alert is based on any obstacle that is within that pie-shaped wedge. So it looks ahead and looks to the left and to the right, looking for obstacles. So. It isn't just airspace warnings, although airspace warnings are what's new in this product. You have terrain warnings, you have obstacle warnings, and you have airspace warnings, all built into FlyQ EFB.